Hi, this is an example of a process FMEA that we did a few years back in a wooden toy factory that was in China. That's why a lot of the text is bilingual because it's quite important to have everybody on board and involved in the analysis and then working on the improvements. So let's go row by row so you see how this works. Uh, this was in an assembly and packing process at the end of the, the, the food manufacturing process and there were some very very substantial sources of risk here with very high RPN numbers or uh, you know composite risk numbers let's go through the first one you will see how that works so for example here in the step where they were packing the products there was a potential failure mode uh, well there was no standard and no work instruction for workers so they, um, they they don't even really know how to do right what is supposed to be done and how it's supposed to be done and if they have a doubt they don't have anything to compare right so what is the effect of such a potential failure well you know wrong packing method um, you know unhappy customers and also packing is supposed to protect the products right so it might be uh, damages uh, on the products after transportation okay now how severe is it you know for the customer very high okay here it's nearly at the top okay it's not as like a safety uh, personal safety issue or something like that but it's very high um, the whole product might have to be thrown away uh, so that's an eight now what causes it well is the first time that they were uh, making that kind of product and that's a very very uh, important indication in that case you really have to do a process FMEA when a factory has never done anything like that product before uh, it's very new for them you gotta go and do a risk analysis this way so they never did it okay and and you know how often is it likely to occur well uh, pretty pretty frequent it might be a problem on 100% of the, the packaged products in this case. So that's a 10 on a scale of 1 to 10. And then any way to prevent it or, or you know, to detect it before the products are shipped out? Well, not really. <laughs> there's no procedures. There's no training. Uh, there's nothing. Uh, the, even the inspectors don't really know what's supposed to be done. So forget it. No detection. Uh, that's that's the worst case here and that's why again there's a 10 so you have an 8 times 10 times 10 is 800 that is an amazingly amazingly poorly prepared process uh, this would very very um, probably lead to quality issues okay another one product assembly again same issue uh, no standard no work instruction these people were not trained they don't have a reference to to follow okay so you can imagine right poor aesthetics poor assembly uh, that that's a seven uh, is pretty bad uh, why because first time they do this process so again they get a 10 here and again they get a 10 here because nobody really knows what is good or bad right now let's move on to something a bit different um, when they were moving the pieces onto a table or onto a pallet and they were supposed to do a visual check okay how do they do a visual check well they don't even have samples for reference to know what is okay or not good right so uh, we found that it was it was quite unlikely that they would make the right calls uh, they would have a, a poor judgment right and then if they pass things that are uh, that are actually not good that leads to customer rejection right uh, very could be very high effect very severe effect to the customer so that's an eight why well no formal standard and they just talked about it during a meeting <laughs> which is not great so we picked two to five percent it's already uh, quite high but we yeah we, we didn't want to shock them and say you know it's gonna happen all the time uh, but still that's an eight out of ten it's pretty bad um, and then how would it do well it would be a visual check uh, you know how well can they detect again they don't have a, you know okay or not good samples for reference so that's not good right so 
total 8 times 8 times 8 that's pretty high and let's take yet another one that's my last example let's take this row um, the tighten the screws okay that's one of the process steps what about the torque of the ele electrical screwdrivers it might be inappropriate and that might lead to assembly problems right if it's um, if the screws are, are, are too loose um, well they might come out after a while um, or if they are too tight uh, it, it might create some issues might make it harder to assemble the problems uh, might you know lead to slightly different positioning of the parts different geometry it might even crack some parts okay so um, severity is high so that's a seven okay why well the uh, first new a lot of new operators don't really know but also no no setup of the torque okay uh, they, they should they should uh, verify and recalibrate the, um, the, 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 the the screwdrivers they did not do it nobody did it uh, or did it in an incorrect way I and mean, that was pretty bad so here we picked the highest over 10% this is really very likely to to happen and then current controls where again they would say oh this is a visual check <laughs> um, you know are they really likely to catch it with a visual check uh, we're not really sure right not so likely to be a good detection mechanism so here we picked moderate okay and that was still a 350 which is very high okay uh, that's um, yeah that was an example on assembly and packing operations uh, here that was on a wooden toy all right i hope that's been useful that was an example of process fmea thank you